today we are heading to one of the most picturesque hikes you can find in UK, the Seven Sisters. We have just arrived at Seaford Station, which is the closest railway station to the Seven Sisters hike. From here, it's just a quick 10 minute walk to the beach, which is also the starting point of our trek. But before we hit the trail, there are some convenient coffee shops and restroom facilities here, so you can get all your essentials sorted. And here we are folks, at the start of our journey. As we begin our hike, take a look around. The lush greenery and the sparkling blue sea on the side are absolutely mesmerizing. It's one of those moments where you could just keep staring for hours and hours. Bhai sahab, it was so, so steep. We're losing breath, but I think the view after climbing this hill is just all worth it. After about an hour and a half of hiking, we have reached this incredible point known as the cliff viewpoint. The hike here is moderate in terms of difficulty and it's perfect for families with kids and even pets. Now, have you ever wondered why it's called the Seven Sisters? Well, let me share a little history with you. The name Seven Sisters refers to a series of seven chalk cliffs that stretch along the coast. They are named after the Pleiades, a group of seven sisters from Greek mythology. Quite fascinating, right? Now before you continue your trek to those actual seven sisters, there's a small river, this one, that you need to cross and please check the tide schedule because this gets deeper and has currents. It's never cross So there are three routes for this trek, a short one that covers 6 kilometers, a medium one that covers 12 kilometers and a long one that covers around 21.8 kilometers. The walk starts from the Seaford beach and leads to the first hill. This is a mild ascent and a good way to warm up for what's to come. You'll find a golf course in the left and the English channel in the right. As you continue along the trail, it's then time for a quick ascent followed by a descent to Kakmer Heaven. This is a stunning part of the walk which shows the remaining Seven Sisters Cliff in all their glory. 
yet a river will stand between you and the next ascent regardless of whether the tide is in or out you'll need to walk away from the seafront for at least a kilometer to find a bridge for those who are choosing to do one of the short seven sisters walks then kakmar heaven is where the trail ends and will divert back to the seaford beach from the same track And for those who are continuing the Seven Sisters hike, you will continue along the trail to embark on your next ascent. You will be praised with many rugged white cliffs and astonishing sea views. The route leads up and down multiple times before arriving at the William Charles Campbell Monument. If you have opted for the medium length route, then it's here that you'll turn left and head away from the sea towards the tiny village of Friston. The route continues until you reach Burlington Gap and from here the route intensifies significantly. Not only is this longest ascents and descents but it is also the steepest. Once you have made it to the top, you will be able to see the red and white striped beachy head lighthouse. After a welcome kilometer of flat nets, it's then time to descend into Eastport. The descent is harsh and arguably more challenging than the ascent. I have mentioned all the links for all these three routes in my description box. You can definitely go and check it out and choose whatever is best for you. We opted for the shorter route and decided to relax at the beach. Some Fuja special tortilla wraps. Tortilla wraps turning into quesadillas. Yeah. So can we, so we can call it crap. Because it's quesadilla as in wrap. Sorry, bro. <laughs> no fun. Was right here. How is how is it? Really nice, huh? Is it going to be like a McD me job? Yeah. Sitting here, gazing out at the horizon, it's impossible not to feel inspired. The endless sea seems to merge seamlessly with the sky. reminding us that in life our potential is boundless just like the sea our horizons can expand infinitely if we dare to explore beyond our comfort zones That concludes our hike along the Seven Sisters. Though we did not complete all the seven cliffs, but we at least went till the uh, cliff viewpoint, and it was amazing. Uh, if you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us on our future adventures. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay adventurous.